I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my YouTube channel and the website globalmathinstitute.com. I am glad to share with you a question from one of our subscribers, the student Akshit from Canada. I hope solution of this question will help many others. It is related to modeling periodic functions and real life situation is using a simple pendulum. The question here is, a pendulum is connected to a rope three meter long, which is connected to a ceiling four meter high. The angle between its wider swing and vertical hanging position is pi by three. If the pendulum swings out, to its widest position in two seconds, model the height of the pendulum. Write the assumptions. Let's try to understand the situation with the help of a rough sketch. I will also like you to pause the video, try to answer this question, and then look into my suggestions. So let's try to sketch a rough diagram. So we have a ceiling here from which a pendulum is hanging. Now, it is given to us that from the ground, the height of the ceiling is how much? Well, the length of this pendulum is three meters and the height is four meters of the ceiling from the ground. That means in the given position, that means in the given position, the height from the ground will be 1 meter, correct? So, 1 meter is this particular height. Let's call this position at t equals to 0. So, that is our assumption. We are starting from the center. The question says, the angle between its widest swing and the vertical hanging position is pi by 3. That means, let us say this is the widest swing. In that case, the angle given to us right here is pi by 3. So, at this instance, we get the maximum height, right? The time taken to swing out to its widest position is 2 seconds. That means it takes 2 seconds to swing from here to there. So 2 plus 2 and then 2, that means 4 here and then coming back will be 2 seconds. So the total time period t will be what? Will be 2 plus 4 plus 2, which is 8 seconds, correct? So we have the time period for the pendulum. So let me write down what we have just calculated. So we have assumed that the ceiling is right there and the pendulum is there. And we have to also write the assumption. Let's not forget about this. So in the assumptions, you can write a couple of things. Some of the most important things is what? Let's write down assumptions first. So, we have light string so that its weight can be neglected. It is inextensible. It will not extend and it is stout. Means tight simply because uh, we have a metal here, right? No resistance. So, we are saying free oscillations. So, these are the assumptions in the given case. And we also assume that t equals to 0 is in the vertical position. Now, to model this situation, 
the best is trigonometric function, right? So to model, we can use sine or cosine functions, right? So we can use cosine function to model. which is periodic. Now let's get some more parameters before we get into the cosine function. So let's try to sketch a curve here. It starts from the minimum and then goes up and down. So the curve will be kind of like this. Do you see that? It starts with the minimum, goes to the maximum. So, starting with the minimum means we could say minus cosine because cosine starts with maximum, right? So, we can think about minus cosine where the phase shift will be zero because we just take the function as minus, which is half the cycle. And we know this one full cycle of this particular wave is 8 seconds. So now, we found that time period t is 8 seconds and therefore, the value of k will be 2 pi by 8 or pi by 4. Now, since I am thinking of writing a cosine function, I will write this as height will be given to us as the amplitude a times cos of kt plus the axis, let's call this as c, and minus, since we are starting from the negative. So, this parameter k, which is number of cycles in one second, we, that is what k is in one period of 2 pi, number of cycles in 2 pi. So, since it takes only 8 seconds, for completing, the number of cycles will be pi by 4 in 2 pi. Well, in this case, we also have minimum height. So, we are trying to write height minimum will be how far above the ground it is. It is 1 and the maximum height will be how much? To calculate the maximum height, we will have to analyze this particular triangle. Correct? So, so let me draw this triangle slightly bigger. Where the length is 3, when it shrinks by pi by 3, then it will go up and this height is how much? Well, total was 3 and the height, let us label it. Let us label it. So, let us say this point change is O, pendulum P, maximum Q and let us call this as M. In this case, MQ is how much? MQ will be 3 minus om and om is the cosine value of pi by 3 correct so we can say that the maximum height which it will go up by will be 1 plus this difference 3 minus 3 cos of pi by 3 is that clear to you? So, that becomes the maximum height in this particular case. So, that should help you. <coughs> so, that becomes the maximum height in this particular case and that should help you to find the function. So, I hope now all the parameters are clear. You should be in a position to write down the trigonometric function to represent the height of the pendulum above the ground. Let us do it once again, slightly uh, in details now. So, I will make a sketch slightly bigger now to explain how we were looking at the pendulum. So, we are saying that the pendulum has moved up, 
right? The height is, I should actually extend it to the same length. So when it goes up, then from the ground, earlier the height was 1 meter, and now it is how much? That much is added. Since this angle is pi by 3, and the length is 3, this is 3 cos theta, 3 cos of pi by 3. So the height above which it goes to is 3 minus 3 cos pi by 3, correct? So we get this maximum height, h max, as 1 plus 3 minus this length which is 3 cos theta. Angle being pi by 3. Now cos pi by 3 as you know is half. So we can write this as 1 plus 3 minus 3 times half. And that gives you the maximum as 1 plus 3 minus half of 3 is 1.5. So that is 2.5. So we know the maximum height. We already know the minimum height, which is 1. So we can now find other parameters. X will be h max plus h minimum divided by 2. So which is maximum being 2.5 plus 1 divided by 2. So that is 3.5 divided by 2 or 1.15 means 7.5. Amplitude is going to be difference of these divided by 2. So 2.5 minus 1 divided by 2. So that means 1.5 divided by 2 or 0 0.75. We already calculated the value of k, which is pi by 4 for us. So we can now write the function as h of t equals to the amplitude, which is 0 0.75, negative sign, because we are starting from the bottom, cosine of k is pi by 4 t plus the axis which is somewhere here in between is 1.75. Is that clear to you? So that is how we can get the cosine function to model the given situation. I hope this is absolutely clear. Now here is a, a solution completely worked out for you. You should remember that height which we are talking about is in meters. So this is in meters and the time t is in seconds, right? So, so that is important to understand. Time t is in seconds. So t is in seconds. So the cosine function which we wrote is standard form. So we say h of t is equals to a cos of k t minus b plus c. So here we found all the parameters. As you know, the minimum is 1 at t equals to 0. Maximum was 2.5. So the axis was average of the 2, which is 1.75. Amplitude is difference divided by 2. How far away the maximum is from the axis? 0 0.75. Time period being 8 k is 2 pi by 8, which is pi by 4. So 8 is 2 while going this direction, then 4, and then again 2. So therefore, the function now is minus 0 0.75 cos of pi by 4t plus 
1.75. Now, in this case, H is in meters and T is in seconds, right? So, that is how you can get the solution of this question. Once again, thanks to Akshit for sharing questions. I'll encourage all the subscribers and viewers to contribute and provide suggestions. Thanks for your time and all the best.